The YMCA began with a young person searching for a greater story for his life. The next part of George Williams' life takes place in a city called Bridgewater. George Williams was 14 years old when his family basically gathered around him and said, your time on the farm is over. You're beginning a new part of the story of your life. His dad brought George to a small industrial city to become an apprentice at Mr. Holmes' drape factory. This young teenager was to trade life on a farm for life in a factory. And it was a rough life. The hours were long, the conditions were horrible. These kids worked from early in the morning to late at night, and any hope in his heart was slowly fading away. But as the months dragged on, he began to notice that there was something different about two of his fellow workers. They were patient and kind. They seemed to live with purpose and joy. There was a light that was shining in their lives. And one day he just had to know, and he asked them, what is it about you guys? What have you found? George Williams' friends brought him to the Friarn Street Chapel. They wanted him to come to church with them, and honestly, he was a little reluctant to go. He had grown up being forced to go to church back in his hometown of Dulverton, and God seemed distant. Religion just seemed so empty, and he didn't want another list of rules that he had to follow. He had had a share of, of religion gone bad where, where there's lifeless sermons and endless lists that you have to do to please God. But yet there was something so attractive about their lives that he said, I've got to go. And when he went, he heard a message from a pastor by the name of Reverend Evan James. Not a famous guy, not, a, not an author, not, not a famous speaker, but something about his words, something about what he said shifted something in George's heart. He explained that God loves us and he wants to be in a relationship with us. That Jesus offers a path of forgiveness and hope and life. That night he went back to the factory. He got on his knees and he prayed a simple prayer. He basically prayed and said, God, if you are real, I need you. Thank you for offering this gift of forgiveness and grace. Would you come into my life? I want to follow you. I want to know you. George Williams looked back at this moment, at this prayer, as a turning point in his path. He made a commitment that the love and hope and life that he found in Jesus would be a guiding light in his life. The story of the YMCA continued because a teenager had a spiritual transformation. The story of the YMCA continued because a young person discovered the reason why.